Hey guys, today we're going to be showing you guys a day in the life of a med surge and I guess this time around COVID nurse. Right now, Natalie happened to have slept over, so we're just showing you guys us getting ready. Um, I barely brushed my hair to go to work, honestly. I'm it's just going to go like that. Natalie brushes her hair. Hi guys, I'm so excited. We're this excited because I slept over. Yeah, exactly. If it, I, I would be so I would be so miserable. I'd be like, uh, I don't want to get up. But. So we're going to finish getting ready. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. We'll see you at work. We're right here in the car, finally. Hi, guys. Good and morning. Natalie's doing her self-screening before we get to work. We have to screen ourselves, make sure we don't have any symptoms. And I always do it right before I get into work. But I do it now just because I'm going to forget and I just want to listen to music on my way to work and I don't want to deal with anything. Yeah. We're here, we just parked. It's like about a 10 minute walk from the parking spot. Yeah, we're walking to work. <sighs> this is the thing that I hate about glasses, that up. it just fogs up. Sometimes you put your mask like this and then put your glasses over. So it doesn't do it, but All it still right. doesn't do it. Hi guys, we're here. We're gonna see how many nurses we are today. Hopefully we're staffed appropriately, but we'll let you guys know. And hopefully we can record today because if we're really busy, that's gonna be rough. Hola mi gente. So right now it's like, oh, it's already nine o'clock. I think I'm gonna get up soon to start my 10 o'clock medications. But basically around 7 a.m. we get report from the nurses, from the night nurses about our patients. Um, and we kind of like, if you come early before seven o'clock, which Ange and I did, we came like around six, like 40. We looked up our patients a little bit, got report. And then um, between like 7.30 to 8 o'clock, you kind of like have that time to go and assess your patients. If nothing crazy is happening, and thank goodness right now, nothing is. Um, so yeah, and then now we're going to take out our medications and start giving out our 10 o'clock meds. So hopefully I get to see Ange around the unit and I shall record her. Hey guys, so it's actually 9.05 a.m. I use the bathroom before I start my 10 a.m. meds because I don't want to have to pee while I'm gowned up and then I have to gown off and then I have to pee and I have to gown on. No. We do like a quick huddle in the morning, took out my meds for the day, and then now I'm going to start my medication so that I could be done a uh, chart and then start like finger sticks and checking sugars like around 11 to 12 a.m. So ah, let's start medication time. This is usually when the most medications are given. It's good to start early and just get it done so that you could chart and be ready for the rest of the day in case anything happens. No. I didn't understand. No. I didn't understand. No. I didn't understand. No. I think you said no. Is this correct? Yes. Okay, responding with no. <gasps> Hey guys, so it is like currently probably like 4.30. Yeah, it's like 4.24 p.m. Right now, me, I had like a little busy day. Um, I'm having basically my breakfast at this moment, unfortunately, but I have been drinking some water throughout the day. Um, and as we mentioned before, Angela to help me, I um, one of my patient's respirations were very low. She was on a pain medication regimen. Um, so I had to give Narcan, uh, and then I had a few other patients with some blood pressure issues. But other than that, right now, we're just like on our break, thank goodness. I love being on break, especially at this time too, I'm not gonna lie, because that's it. That's it. In like 30 minutes, it's time for us to give our 6 o'clock medications. That takes us a few minutes, at least until 6, and then we have an hour, depending of course on the patient, like if they need us, we're there, but you know... Our shift is almost over. How's your day going so far? Not bad. I have an admission that's supposed to be coming. So. Hopefully. Oh yeah, they were giving report. They were. Yeah, Tina took report. Oh no. 
I know, that's the worst. I look like crap all the time at work. And thankfully, and also it's bad, but thankfully that I wear a mask because nobody could see. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are probably wondering, wow, you guys are able to go on break together. You're damn right. Hell wow, yeah. let me fix it a little bit at least, you know? No se puede ver tan loca, ¿sí? Tú sabes, ¿no? You damn right because people know better. And we're social distancing, except for Natalie. She just came close, but... Yeah, we have to. We have to sit this far. If not, they you know. come in and they round on us. They have um, little signs here on where you can eat. And there's one there for Nat. There's one there. All right. So also, even though, yeah, like, I'm, I'm always busy. Like, honestly, at this point, I just think it's me as a nurse that I just take my time doing certain things. And I, like, had a stroke code one day. And then, like, I've just been busy, guys. And that's just me all the time. Sometimes, like, I'm just like, ugh, I'm so tired, like, energy-wise. Like, I'm done. But then I also get to reflect and actually think, like, wow, like, I learned so much today and like now I'm able to I'm a stronger nurse because of it you know even though yeah it like sucks and it is scary at the time for everyone um but you legit are caring for people and it feels so awesome you know kind of doing that for somebody else like being there yeah. in in that way and you know I was able to to me I was able to save like five lives today so call me Jesus if you want <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I love Jesus. <laughs> so I'm grateful for... <laughs> I'm grateful, again, that I'm, I was able to do that. And, you know, I feel like <laughs> things are placed in your life so you can learn from them. And I probably... I don't know what the freak but, you is. Know, sometimes for you, like, they need to slow it down with the learning. Yo. They need to slow it down with the learning. Yo, demasiado. Tu sabes, Diosito, por favor, porque ya, ya... All the time I'm here, there is something wrong with my patient. Something is wrong. Blood pressure is too low or too high or stroke cold or seizure or respirations really low. And I, and I call her and I'm like, hey, and she's like, what happened? I'm like, um, can you help me? I'm like swamped. Guys. <laughs> Every time I'm done with a task or something, I come to look for Ange, and she's always here. Always here, my friend. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're walking back to the car. Sing it, Ange. Sing it, Ange. We are free. Yeah, guys. So we are finally free. Um, as always, I'm a little always late. But, you know, I had a little... You know, busy day, and it's okay. Um, but we made it. Yep. Our, all our patients were alive. Yep. That's important. And we are shall be back tomorrow for more. That's pretty much a 12-hour shift. Um, of course, we can't really anticipate everything that's going to happen in of a 12-hour shift. Of course, yeah. We go with the flow, man. Make sure our patients are safe. Yep. And that's what we did. But yep. yeah, guys, until next time, maybe if you guys enjoy these videos, We'll do another one um, and let us know how you guys like it. Yeah, and let us know if maybe there's a specific question that you guys have. Yes. And what in, uh, during the shift. I'm sure there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, parts where we couldn't really record. Yeah, because of patient, um, you know, yeah, uh, privacy like, and stuff. We're so scared that we're going to like miss something and then the patient's name is going to be in there. Yeah, we definitely don't want to do that, guys. So we want to be able to show you guys as well as you know do it properly and you know not show any patient information yeah all right so stay tuned for our next videos thanks for watching this one and see you later bye